When you need new sales fast, you need cutting-edge lead generation, and in these heady days of the internet there is such a mountain of ways of getting that next great opening that it is just a tad inspiring for those of us who are a little technophobic with all this clever, cool and often frighteningly complex technology. Campaigns can seem often long-winded, highly unpredictable and anything but fast. Offline methods seem slow and almost primitive now. Dollar to dollar cold calling is dead and buried. Telephone cold calling asks for a huge amount of resilience, patience, staying power, and the skin of a rhinoceros. With that in mind, it's no wonder getting out of bed on a Monday morning can seem a pretty lousy prospect. Well, let's make things a little bit easier. The fact is your easiest leads are sitting on your doorstep. We tend to think of marketing as meaning we have to find new clients, which it does on one level, but fundamentally it means enhancing the outlets with the clients you have already been talking to, the people you know and trust, those clients who you gave a great service to way back when and may well be interested in talking to you again. Remarketing for leads The fact is remarketing has been going on since man started bartering for rocks. It just makes sense. If you want to sell something, you go to the person who is most likely to buy from you, and who is more likely than the guy who visited your shop or who bought from you before. Great. But just like there is a method for marketing further afield and bringing new fresh leads, there is also a clear strategy for approaching those who you have already gained trust with. The three areas I am going to highlight are Existing customers, dormant accounts, friends, and family quick cash strategy. No.1. Existing customers. By approaching existing customers regarding your next sale, you are cutting out a whole lot of legwork and heartache. No need to reinvent the wheel and start your sales spiel from square one, as they have trusted you enough to buy your product in the past and are still active customers. They are likely to listen to you concerning associated products. You want to be approaching a volume of clients in one hit so gather the names from your current customer database by dividing them into A, B, and C grade clients. Your grades are the most likely to buy again. Now let me introduce your secret weapon. The need now. What you are now going to do is to contact your existing customers by telephone and establish the need now so that you can fulfill that need. In a nutshell business managers are so busy with everyday tasks, they have little time to progress their companies. They know full well they are working with negative challenges which have a negative impact on processes and revenue. You are about to do them a favor. Engage the client by asking them how things are progressing with the product, what their present situation is and what their current challenges are. Listen, they are about to tell you what the need now is. Quick cash strategy no.2. Dormant accounts. Don't worry if you are new to sales in the company. Every thriving business will have a customer database with dormant files. Again, these are individuals who have at least bought from the company before and so trust the brand and products. The approach here is be clear about the fact that you are relatively new, not too new. You don't want to look inexperienced, but that you are aware the company has not made contact recently. State you will be looking after their account and you would like to know if you could discuss their current situation and challenges. From there it's a quick flick over to the need now script and you are on your way. Quick cash strategy no.3. Friends and family. This is one of my favorite ways of getting new business and in fact it got me one of my most lucrative clients in my early days of being self-employed. Here's what happened. My stepson worked for a very large national chocolate company and I asked him who I should be talking to about increasing sales revenue. He told me it was a lady called Joanna Slater and he gave me her contact number. I asked him if he would let her know that I was going to call, which he did. I made the call and Joanna said oh yes Dylas, Sean told me you would be calling and we went on to arrange a meeting. Joanna then asked me to present to the board and the rest is history. I worked for this company on end. Off for 10 years, what you need to do. Establish your ideal customer and in the meantime, think about who you can best serve. 
then identify amongst your family and friends who could recommend you to the type of people you want to do business with.